Hi everybody. Happy New Year. I'll say Happy New Year but I'm not in the mood. I will say thank you to everybody who said Happy New Year to me. <laughs> I'm just feeling so lethargic. You know it's not like me to be so blur. I think it's the weather. It's not stopped raining for weeks now. No sunshine, no anything. So it's just a bit. <coughs> Maybe I need a holiday. But that's not much chance of that happening, really. I keep looking at magazines, looking at patterns, trying to get myself revved up, you know. But nothing's happening. I've done a few things, you know, I did the hats. Four hats, I think I did. And I finally put the buttons on the cowl. So that's finally done. Um, I finished off the cardigan that I think I showed you last time. Put the buttons on it, although I think I went a bit crazy with the buttons. Got loads and loads and loads of buttons on it. As did the little <laughs> white and green one. That's got lots of buttons on it too. Then I made, I thought well, the girls are getting a bit, what's it, so I made one in blue that would do for a little boy. Not quite so many buttons on that one. Didn't go quite so mad. And then I started off with some pink with glitter in it. But as I was running out of pink, I put a bit of cream in it, so it finished up with short sleeves. <laughs> As they're all going to the uh, the women's shelter or somewhere, I'm not sure where they're going yet, but they're going somewhere. But I've just not been enthusiastic at all. And as you can see, my cardigan isn't, hasn't grown much. It's grown by maybe about four rows. But to be truthful with you, I'm absolutely hating this yarn. It's a good job it's mine and nobody else's because it's, uh, I'm just trying to find where it is. It keeps splitting, all the time splitting. When I see it, I go back and sort it out, but sometimes I've gone a couple of rows back and then I look and I think, oh God, look at that mess. Can't find it now. I'll find it when, oh, there it is, there's one of them. See what I mean? Great, long, lumpy things, bits sticking out. I mean, I can dodge it up for myself because it's mine, but it's just splitting. I seem to be going two rows forward and one row back. I mean, it's a good brand. It's not rubbish. It's Serdar Soft Cotton Iron. But I don't know. I just split it. I've tried different hooks. I've tried all sorts of things, but it's still splitting. Hmm. Never mind. Uh, what have I been doing? Nothing. <laughs> that was my tablet telling me that something's doing something. I've done nothing. Got up in the morning. Got dressed. Nothing. The rain's been raining. The weather's been dull. I wish the rain would go somewhere where they needed it. But then again, they'd probably get the floods like we've been having. Thankfully, not near me. Oh, I did get some new boots. Oops, sorry, about the top of my head. Got some new boots. I got a voucher for Christmas from my younger niece. So I've ordered this pair and a pair of black boots because I wear short ankle boots a lot of the time. My ankles are not very strong. They're a bit weak and wobbly, so... And that's somebody sending me a little message going bloop. If so, it'll be the first message I've had of a week. <laughs> Not all week, actually, no. All day. Uh, so it's really only going to be a short. Uh, my skirts are coming next week. Uh, I've ordered some velvet skirts. I'm sort of into my boho theme at the minute. I'm wearing, let me stand up, I'll show you what I'm wearing. I don't know whether you can see my skirt. My skirt is 
uh, crushed velvet brown. I did use to knit as you can see this is one that I knitted a long time ago when I had the shop so that's come out of retirement somewhere. Scarf of course and my beads. No makeup on because I couldn't be bothered. But uh, I mean, at least did my hair but it's come out a bit mousy. <laughs> I think that's made, not making me feel too good. I was meant to be blonde not mousy. I don't know what colour she got me so I'll have to go and have a look and See, I'm getting lots of messages. The minute I start doing something, my world starts livening up. Um, what have I been doing? Spending too much? I haven't bought any wool. Nope, not bought any wool. But I have been browsing, buying three skirts, like this crushed velvet one. But they're being made for me, so they won't be here till next week. I've ordered a black one, a purple one, and a dark green one. And I'm going to start chucking out a lot of the other stuff out of my wardrobe. I'm getting a stereo bleep bleep. I'm getting bleep from the computer in the other room and bleep from the tablet that's down here. Bleep 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 bleep. It's the same bleep, it's just done twice, isn't it? So I'm just trying to decide what I'm going to do tonight. I've drawn the curtains, it's not even five o'clock yet. But it's been dark for about the last hour and a half. In fact, it's been dark since I got up this morning, really. How do you cope when it's so dismal and dark? I mean, I've got a sad light, you know, SAD light, but I always forget to plug it in. You're supposed to plug it in first thing in the morning, you know, so it cheers you up. But I always forget to plug it in. I remember about halfway through the day, but then it's not supposed to work so well then. I plug it in now, I'm going to be wide awake by about 10 o'clock. <laughs> Don't know when Sue's coming. I'm hoping that she's going to come this week. I think she's been working all weekend, all week, really, between Christmas and New Year. I think she's been working. Although I'm sure she said she was going somewhere New Year if she could get the time off work. So maybe we'll see her later this week, maybe. I'm hoping my little Gigi will come back tomorrow because he's really, I'm really missing him. It's not been the same without Buster, without Gigi, without anybody. And I'd like to say thoughts to Juanita, uh, she spins. She's just uh, had to lose her little dog today because he was poorly. And how you feel? It's a terrible decision to have to make, yeah. Uh, I would love another pet, but I don't feel like I need a dog right now. Can't have a cat, because my son's dogs would chase it if they were here. Uh, not into birds, not into, you know, fish. Not into mice, rats, nothing like that. Not into lizards, really. Definitely not into snakes. <laughs> I'll just have to wait while Gigi comes back, hopefully on Monday. Anyway, this is not a very cheery video, is it really? I'm sorry about that, but I've just not feeling very chirpy. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I had lots of things to tell you, but it's all gone out of my mind. My brain has gone lethargic too. It's gone, <laughs> gone to sleep on me. Not made anything for Etsy. I have thoughts. I really need to... I've got a sketchbook where I need to draw my thoughts down. I haven't done it for a while. I think thoughts come into my brain when I'm doing something else. And I think, mm, mm, yeah. And of course I forget. Because that's a symbol of being old is you forget. And um, so I've got a sketch pad. I need to write things down. <laughs> I hope you enjoy these balloons. Balloon. It's only a tablet. I'm sure there was other things I had to tell you, but I cannot think of any of them at the moment. Not of them. So, I'm going to say goodbye, and hopefully you'll have me and Sue maybe later this week. At least you'll have me and Gigi. And hopefully by then I'll have recovered my mojo and got my fingers going. Oh, I did go to the GP, by the way, found out about my shoulder. It's a rotary cuff 
inflammation or rotary cuff injury. Don't know what I've injured it with, but I certainly didn't make it any better by doing my knitting. I can crochet, but only for a little while because it's hurting. But they've given me these anti-inflammatories, so that's working. That's probably why I'm feeling so lethargic. I'm so tired thinking about it. But it was wonderful to be able to get a night's sleep without being in agony. It was so painful, really. If you've had one of these injuries, it's painful, painful. Anyway, I'm not going to depress anybody anymore. I'm going, so Happy New Year. And I hope your new year is much more chirpier than mine. So bye for now.